Jim and I had the opportunity to work on a video for Quiet Oaks Hospice House here in St. Cloud area and it was a promotional video that he and I did and um, that video was a great success really sharing what Quiet Oaks is about and what they believe in. What I was able to take away from my time with Jim and a learning is that it's so important to be sharing what it is you believe in not that you're promoting a widget because what we really want all of us whether it's business or personal is we don't want a widget we want what whatever it is that you're believing in what your story is we want how that impacts me what does that mean to me what does that mean to my business what does that mean to my child or the success, if it's not a personal issue, is it's what's the success of my business. Um, so really believing in what your story is and what your business is about is what the biggest thing that I took away from my time with, with Jim. I've used that with my own business and it's made such a difference. Uh, you're, it doesn't matter what someone else is doing, it matters what I'm trying to share and how that impacts you in your business. Our belief here at Quiet Oaks is that everyone in our community deserves the best care possible as they go through the end of life process. We believe we provide that care here at Quiet Oaks. We make a difference in people's lives, both their residents and their families. Um, my brother was four years younger than I am and he was a really special human being. He was developmentally disabled. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer and we realized right away for him that the treatment options were not a good choice and held no promise for any future good life. And we decided right away that hospice was the direction to go. And so we brought Dan up out here and it was as if he'd come home. This home became the home for our whole family for six months. His passing couldn't have been more gentle and more loving than, there's no way to imagine it better. A music therapist came in the morning, the day before he died, and sat with him, it was right before Christmas, and sat with him and our whole family, and she played her guitar at the foot of his bed, and we sang songs, and we listened to the guitar, and we laughed, and we just enjoyed it so much. And the next day, he just gently passed away with my mom singing to him, and my sisters and I by his side, and the whole Quiet Oaks community surrounding him. And it was as if we were all held up with love and care in the most exceptional way. So it kind of rounded off a well-lived life the way we'd all want it for which I am eternally grateful.